everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. And I also want to again welcome all my new subscribers. I know my Norns from Anniversary Sale Haul do get me a lot of views and I also get new subscribers from those videos. And again, I want to say thank you and welcome. I hope you guys enjoy it here. In this video, I'll be answering your questions. And in my Sydney Grace Christmas in July sale haul, I ask if you can leave a question in the comments section because I wanted to do a Q&A type video. And let me tell you, you guys asked some questions. <laughs> There are personal questions which I don't mind answering and there are questions about skincare and makeup and about YouTube and let me tell you there were a couple in there that I just could not come up with an answer <laughs> but I'll try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. And I also want to mention that this is my three year anniversary here on YouTube. I can't believe it's been three years. I honestly didn't think people would watch, people would subscribe and I didn't think I would last this long to be truthful. And I know I've said this many times, you may be sick and tired of hearing it, but I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I have met so many wonderful women here. It's an incredible platform to be in and I'm just lucky and happy that I'm part of it. But uh, yeah, three years and I'll be answering your questions. So let's go ahead and start. Let me Get it on my phone here. All right, one subscriber asked several questions and I don't know if I should mention the names. I uh, probably won't mention names. I don't know if you want me to mention your names, so I won't mention any names, but this subscriber said, what is your favorite foundation? Also, where were you born? And do you have any children? If so, how many? How long ago did you start to love makeup and eyeshadow palettes? Okay, let's start with the first one. What is my favorite foundation? All right, my favorite foundation Okay, right now it has to be the Le Sensiel Foundation by Guerlain. And I have two shades. One is for winter and one is for summer. And my winter shade is, oops, ooh, 45N. And right now I'm using 5N. Or is it 50N? It's 05N. This is my favorite foundation. It's my go-to foundation. And I just like how it feels on my skin, especially in the summertime because it is light. It is medium coverage, so you kind of do have to build it up. And you can still see my melasma spots shining through. But I love how it feels. I love how it sits on my face. So right now, the Guerlain is my favorite foundation. I'm going to try to answer these questions as quickly as possible. There may be some questions that are going to be longer than others. So some questions, I'm just going to zip right through it. Because this next question is going to be a long one. Now she asked, do you have any children and if so, how many? And some of you may already know this. I, I do mention that we have two kids, but we have four kids. Two of them here and two of them are in heaven. Now this one's going to be a little tough for me to answer, but the friendships that I have here, I just want to let you know. And I don't want to be sad about it. I really don't. And if I start going off tangent, it's because I'm nervous when I talk about it. We have four children and two of our oldest ones, they passed away. Amanda, she passed away in 1991. She was two and a half. And Adam, he passed away in 2005 and he was 14 years old. Now I won't get into it that much but they both had cerebral palsy and I'll try to put a picture. I have a picture of Amanda. You know back when we first got married we didn't have any money. We had the camera that had the 110 film. You know the, the camera that's long and flat. So we had that type of a camera. And this is one of my pictures of Amanda. I know she's a cute little baby there. She's probably a year in this picture. She was born in 1989 and Adam was born in 1991 and she passed away when Adam was six months old. And then when Adam was three years old, Christian was born in 1994 and then Luke came along in 97. We always say, and then Luke came along. Now the picture that I always show on my phone is this one whenever I mention the time and here is a picture of Adam. This picture was my last picture of my husband and three kids together so that's why I always keep this one on my phone. And this picture of Adam, he was 13 years old so you can see that he was tiny for his age. He couldn't eat for himself. He couldn't sit up. He couldn't talk. And they were surprised that he lived as long as he did. I don't think I could ever change this picture. Who knows, maybe when we get grandchildren I'll switch it, but I cannot switch this picture right now because Adam's in it. Of course, Amanda's not here because she passed away when Adam was six months old. After Amanda passed, we didn't think we were going to have more children. And lo and behold, with a lot of prayers, Christian came and then Luke came. So we feel that we're very blessed to have taken care of kids with cerebral palsy and your normal kids, I guess you could say. I'm getting hot. I'm starting to stress. <laughs> Amanda would have been 31 years old and Adam would have been 29. Wow. Of course, Christian is 27 and Luke 
I think he's 24, 25, 23. <laughs> Christian's 26 and Luke is 23. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get some heat now if I can't remember their birthdays. And I don't want this to be a sad fest. I, I really don't. And I just wanted to mention this to you guys because I've come to know you and I just wanted y'all to know that we have four kids, two in heaven watching over us and two here with us. And I thank God for them each and every day. And plus you see me, this body did give birth to four kids. So yeah, that's why I am like this. All right, I hope that answered your question. Now I'm getting hot. Now let me see, you asked some more questions. How long ago did you start to love makeup and eyeshadow palettes? Now really, when I started watching YouTube about four or five years ago, that is really when I started to get into makeup and eyeshadow palettes. I mean, I didn't have any eyeshadow palettes back then. I had maybe four single shadows and maybe a little palette of four shadows and yeah that was all i had the next one was what age did you start wearing makeup and using skincare do you order brands from egypt what is your favorite skincare brand all right what age did you start wearing makeup i started wearing makeup around 13 you know gotta have my black eyeliner and mascara then and started using skincare about four or five years ago that's when i started really getting into my skincare routine do you order brands from egypt no, there's not really brands, makeup brands that you can get from Egypt. We pretty much over there, they order it from out of the country and they bring it in. And what is your favorite skincare brand? That one's a tough one. That one is a tough one. I'm going to answer that one later. All right, next question. What are your top four favorite eyeshadow formula brands? Okay, that one is pretty easy. Sydney Grace is one of them. Love her shadows and love the formula of them, especially the metallic shades, the pressed pigments. Oh my gosh, they really do give you that punch. What I'm wearing is Sydney Grace. It's the Tiny Marvels by Mel Thompson. This is the eyeshadow that I'm using right now. Next would be Pat McGrath. I love those shadows. Yes, that's a pricey eyeshadow palette, but I love her formula. Another pricey one is Natasha Denona. And the fourth one, I would have to say ColourPop. The price point is great and the formula is also great. All right, the next one, I know you and your husband love to travel. How many countries have you two been to? And it really hasn't been quite a lot. Maybe a dozen or so. I'm trying to think here. I know we've been to Italy several times and we've taken a Mediterranean cruise and we went to Greece and Croatia. And let me tell you, when we get to travel again, we would love to just land in Croatia and just travel from there. We've been to France, we've been to England, I've been to Spain, he hasn't been to Spain yet. Been to Mexico, been to several Caribbean islands. We did an Alaskan cruise and we kind of stopped in Canada with that count in Vancouver to be exact. Of course, we've been to Egypt. We did stop over in Switzerland one day. So yeah, I would say about 10 to 12 different countries. And let me tell you, one country that I really keep telling my husband that I want to go to is Austria, especially during the Christmas market. I mean, I think that would be a great trip to take. And we can't wait to travel again. I mean, we've got our stuff ready to go whenever we can. And we did vlog two of our trips, one to Egypt and one to Italy. And I'll link those uh, videos down below. Especially the last one that we took in Italy, we just took a carry-on bag and just kind of hopped from place to place. And we kind of like that because before I would always take <laughs> maybe two or three suitcases, check bags. And that would make it kind of difficult to hop on or hop off different types of transportation. So we always kind of stayed where we were for several days. And what we did in our last trip, we really enjoyed that. So we can't wait to do that again, especially with just doing a carry on and just travel. My question to you is what is your favorite video to make for your YouTube channel? And what are your favorite types of YouTube videos to watch of other YouTubers? All right, my favorite videos is the one we just did. I did one with my husband, my makeup consultant. I love doing those videos with him. Just something fun and something different to do. And I think he likes being involved in it too. I think he does. I also like to do empties and haul videos and I also like to do unboxings. Now I know a lot of people don't like to watch unboxings, but I like them. And those are also the same type of videos that I like to watch. Empties, hauls, unboxings. And I also like to watch how other YouTubers apply their makeup because I'm still learning about that. How to apply the eyeshadows and, and whatnot. So yeah, I, I like to watch that too. And also I love to watch travel videos. There are a couple of full-time travelers that we watch all the time and I'll link them down below. One of them is Karen Nate. We just love to watch where they're going and what they're doing and what to see and what to do and 
and all that stuff. And I guess that's the reason why we started doing our travel vlogs. Because it's just a fun way of showing us and showing the country that we're in or the place that we're in. And doing activities. So yeah, I like to watch travel videos too. Next, my question to you is what is the magic secrets of your skincare? Um, I really don't know. I do try a lot of products because I do get subscription boxes so I'm constantly trying new products and whatever I like I will get the full size. But I have to say with me it would be the hydration because I love the Mario Badescu rose water. I spray this on my face several times a day. Right when I get up, whenever I set my makeup, when I get ready for bed, or even right now in this heat, I'll just spritz some on my face to cool me off. And this, I think hydration is very important. And also for me, because I have melasma spots, vitamin C. I apply vitamin C at night, probably about every other night. And that's what I like to do. I don't know that my skin looks nice or anything, but I do see a difference with some of the skincare products that I use, like the hydration of the rose water and the vitamin C. Oh, and also products that helps with my acne because I do have acne prone skin. So I like products that can help clarify it and kind of exfoliate my skin to get that gunk out of my, underneath my skin there. What was or is your occupation? Also, do you have any siblings? How many? Let's start with the siblings. I am the youngest of four. I have one sister and two brothers. And my occupation, well, I was a wife and mom, and now, I guess, a YouTuber. I also love to do volunteer work, and I volunteer for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I am a wish granter for them, and right now, we aren't granting any wishes, which is really sad for these kids, but understandably, with what's going on, I don't think they would like to travel with what they are going through. So I can't wait for that so we can meet our Wish families again. And it's so fun meeting the Wish families and the Wish kids to find out what their wishes are. You've got, I wish to go, I wish to be, I wish to meet, or I wish to have. And usually most of them are Disney wishes, travel wishes, so that's why we're not granting any wishes right now. But there are some interesting ones, like uh, I had one that wanted to see the space shuttle launch, so we sent him to Florida to see the last night space shuttle launch. We have one now that wants to kind of pimp his truck and we can do that one now but we're just trying to find places that will do it. Did a couple of shopping sprees and those are fun but can be very tiring. Did a couple of bedroom redos and those are also fun. But yeah, I do a lot of volunteer work besides being a YouTuber. I would love to know how you met your husband and how long have you been married? He seems so sweet. He really is. I love a love story. And also, what are the best body washes and body moisturizers you have found? And you all know I love the Boom Boom Cream Shower Gel and the Moisturizing Cream. Rituals, the Shower Cream, and also the Moisturizing Cream for that too by Rituals, especially Rituals of Dow. Molten Brown, love that Shower Gel. I'm not too keen on their Moisturizing Body Cream, but do love their Shower Gels. And of course, L'Occitane and Bed Bath, no, Bath and Body Works, Moonlight Path. That's my favorite. Those are my favorites. And how we met, I went to Egypt, gosh, a long time ago. And we met at a party and he said the minute he saw me, he knew I was the one. It did take me a little bit longer, but for him, he said it was the second he saw me. I will tell you that he was showing me around Egypt. We were in his car and he lit a cigarette and I told him I don't like cigarette smoke. So he took his pack of cigarettes and he threw it out the window. And that's when I knew that he was the one for me. And we've been married now for 32 years and still going strong. Love you, babe. Question, how do you decide on your blush and lipstick color to complement your eyeshadow looks? Well, the blushes are easy for me. If I'm going for a pink look, then a pink blush. If I'm going for an orangey look or a neutral look, then I'll go for a peachy blush. For lips, what I do, I will, you know, grab a couple of lipsticks and just swatch them on my hand and look at myself in the mirror holding the, the swatches and see which one will look better. That's what I do. And also the video that I like to do, the one with my makeup consultant with the lip swatches, I like doing those because that helps me to see what the lip color will look like on, on my skin tone. So I'll go back to those videos to see which shade I like. Nothing scientific. Oh uh, yeah. All right, next, my question to you is what's your favorite formula for eyeshadows and have you tried the Chantecaille Duo eyeshadows? And no, I haven't tried the Chantecaille, which I think I will now. And my favorite formula of eyeshadows, I would say the metallic shades. I love metallic shades on my lids. That gives me that wow factor. I would love to know what do you find the most challenging about having a YouTube channel? Ugh, wow, there are a lot of challenges for me for having a YouTube channel. One, I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm still new. And also trying to come up with different ideas of doing a video. That's been kind of challenging for me. So yeah, I do feel like I don't know that much to talk about it. 
I know what can be challenging for me may not be challenging for someone else, but those are kind of my challenges here of having my YouTube channel is not knowing what I'm talking about some of the times. <laughs> and trying to come up with some ideas for videos. How did your husband meet? I already answered that. And if you could only wear one brand of cosmetics, which one would it be? That one, I don't have an answer for because I don't have one brand that I like of everything. I mean, just like the Pat McGrath, I love her eyeshadows, but I don't like her foundation. Or I like the Physician's Formula Foundation, but I don't like their eyeshadows. So that one, I don't think I can answer that one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I don't think I have one brand that I could wear of all makeup. What is your favorite skincare item? The one you would take to a desert island and that would have to be sunscreen. If I'm going to be on an island, I think sunscreen would be the most important skincare product. My favorite is the one by Neutrogena, anything by Neutrogena, the spray one or even the cream one. And the one for my face, I like the one by Supergoop. I guess it's the Unseen sunscreen. I like that one. I'd love to hear how you met your beauty consultant. I like that and I already mentioned that. And where were you married? We were married in Egypt and if you you saw our vlogs from Egypt we did go back to see where we were married at and I'll link that video down below it was nice to kind of go back after 32 years and everyone has a wedding day funny story of something that went either very right or very wrong the only thing that I could probably remember is when we went to our hotel room the key didn't work so we had to hang out in the hallway until someone came back up with the key but it was really nice to be married in the same church that I was baptized in. It's the St. Mary Coptic Orthodox Church in Zemelik, Egypt. My question, what made you want to do YouTube? And that's a good question. I started really getting into makeup and skincare five years ago and then I thought, you know, I'm not seeing a lot of new people trying products and putting on makeup with my skin tone. So I thought, okay, let, let me try. So it took me two years to muster up the courage to do it. And I'm still mustering up courage to even do this video. But I wanted to start a YouTube channel to give my opinions or my views of some of the products from a newbie type of perspective. I hope that makes sense. Because I will tell you this, I was watching this one channel and she was putting on this beautiful nude lipstick on her and I really did like it. So when I got it and I put it on my lips, it was like, that doesn't look good for me. <laughs> and that's when I started to know that there are different shades of lipsticks for different skin tones. So yeah, I started this channel so I can give different opinions, different perspectives of different shades and different eyeshadows and different foundations and different types with my skin tone and my age. And I'm still learning. And I have to say the added bonus of having a YouTube channel is the community that we have. Not only am I hoping that I'm giving you some information, but I'm getting a lot of great information from you guys. Like how to put bronzer on or try this product by doing it this way. So yeah, I love this added bonus of our community that we have. All right, now this question, what is your favorite high-end product besides La Mer that reminds you of your mama? And that goes to the question that I had in the beginning of the video, what is your favorite skincare brand? And I was going to say La Mer, but someone called me on it. <laughs> and if you're new to my channel, La Mer, my mom loved La Mer products and that just kind of reminds me of her and that's why I still use it. I have a lot of samples of it, but I still like to use La Mer. Then my favorite high-end product will have to be this one by Skin Medica, the TNS Essential Serum. I like what this does for my skin. And the regular price is $282, I believe, but I always buy it on sale. I wait until I see a sale, then I'll buy the backup. I love what this does to my skin. And yeah, this one is my favorite high-end product and I believe this is my third bottle of it. And what is your favorite drugstore product? And it didn't say makeup or skincare. And since I use the high-end product for skincare, I'm gonna use the drugstore product for a makeup item. And it's this one by Essence. It's their eye pencil. It's $3. I love this eye pencil. It stays in place on my waterline and it doesn't move to give me that eye booger that where all that gunky stuff comes into the corner of my eye. So yeah, this is my favorite drugstore product. High-end drugstore. <laughs> Hello, my makeup consultant stopped by. <laughs> it's his birthday today. And I mentioned how we met. What did you say? The truth. Correct. That you were following me around everywhere. <laughs> I'm stalking you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, you paid off. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and how long have we been married? 32 years. Yeah, see, he knows. <laughs> January 25th, 1988. Oh, okay. You want time? No, I don't know what time. About maybe 6 o'clock. Was it that late? Mm -hmm. I don't remember it being that late. 
think it was. Hmm. He had to go and answer his phone call, so let's go to the next question. What would you say is your favorite eyeshadow brand? And if I had to pick one, I would have to say Sydney Grace. This one I like. So I know your daughter got married not too long ago. Is there a grandbaby on the way? Unfortunately, no, not yet. She is going back to school to get her master's in nursing. So we're gonna have to wait a couple more years to get a grandbaby. Yeah, we keep looking at her and asking her, but she wants to finish her master's degree first, so okay. We'll give her maybe a few months before she graduates and then we'll start asking her again. Because we can't wait, we can't wait. But right now, I'm just loving on my sister's grandbabies, my great nieces and nephews. They are just the cutest bunch, I love them. How do you keep your eyes from creasing under metallics or shiny eyeshadows? And I have to say, my favorite eyeshadow primer right now is the Hourglass one. And also, the one before that was the Benefit Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer. And I do believe that having an eyeshadow primer underneath your eyeshadows do help stop it from creasing. That's what works for me. Now, I do have a problem with some of the metallics kind of transferring to my upper lid, so I'm thinking maybe I need to try and eyeshadow glue to help with that. But so far, just priming my lids helps. When did you really get into makeup or have you been doing it for a long time? Did your mom influence you or anyone else in your family? Of course, my mom influenced me because she loved her eyeliner and mascara. So I followed in her footsteps with that. Then I really started getting into makeup, again, five years when I started watching YouTube because pretty much my makeup was non-existent and I hardly wore makeup then too even lipstick for that matter and when I started wearing the lipstick I know my family always made fun of me when I showed up with lipsticks I'm like wow you have lipstick on and now when they see me without lipstick it's like oh you don't have lipstick on I know this video is already gonna be long so I'm just gonna make it longer I remember walking into Sephora and looking at Urban Decay and Too Faced and Tarte and seeing that they just look too young for me. I don't know if it was the packaging that was throwing off, throwing me off, but it just looked too young for me. So then I started watching YouTube and seeing this and that, and then I started learning more about skincare too. I mean, even then I didn't know which to put first, serum or moisturizer. And then I remember the first YouTube channel I saw, it was by Laura Lee. I don't watch her anymore, but I started to watch how to apply bronzer. And then I started seeing other videos about how to apply eyeshadows and foundations and lipsticks and skincare. And that's when I really started getting into makeup. That it didn't matter how old you are and it didn't matter the packaging if it looked a little kind of young for me. At least that's what I thought back then. Yeah, there are some packaging that's like, yeah, I don't think so. But that's what I thought. You have a wish list started for Sydney Gray shadows, and I think I probably should. I know, I have a lot of Sydney Gray shadows, especially the singles, but there are a lot more out there, and I'm seeing others with certain shades like, oh, I may need to try that one. So I do need to start a wish list with Sydney Gray shadows. Do you have any Sydney Gray cream shadows? And yes, I do have their cream shadows. I I think I have three of them. I'll have to write down below which shades I have. What are your top five eyeshadow brands? All right, I mentioned four. Sydney Grace, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, and ColourPop. And the fifth one would have to, I would have to say, Juvia's Place and Dose of Colors. Those kind of tie for me. You'd be limited to three skincare products. What would they be? It'll have to be the Skin Medica, the TNS Essential Serum, and also Vitamin C. I love a good Vitamin C. And the one that I'm using now, it's not my favorite. It's by May Love. But the one that I really do like is the one by Timeless. And also, I want to throw in a facial oil. And this one by Vintner's Daughter. Love this facial oil. oil. And for a bonus one, it'll have to be La Mer. <laughs> there are several of them here that are repeat, so I won't go into those. This one, I'd like to know your favorite lip product formula, and I've got several. One of them I'm wearing right now is by KKW Beauty, and I love her lip formula. It is right here, and I think I do need to reapply, and also the Pat McGrath. I love her matte, her matte trans lipstick. It doesn't dry my lips out, but I always like to put a lip gloss over it anyway. And also this one by Christian Audette. I love her lip formula too. And I'm going to throw the lip gloss in. You all know I love the lip glosses from Hourglass. So yeah, that is my favorite lip gloss formula. That one's an added bonus answer. <laughs> Will you buy the new Tiny Marvels palette and do some looks with it? And yes, I do have the new Tiny Marvels eyeshadow palette and I did this look. Fortunately, I didn't film it. I think I was just too nervous about this video. But if you would like, I will do some looks with this palette. It'll have to be after Labor Day. So yes, watch out for that. But yeah, I can't wait to play with this palette. I mean, look at these shades. Oh, they are a little colorful for me, but 
I'll play with it. I'll see how this works. Okay, what color story bundle or palette would you like them to do next? Would you like Sydney Grace to do next? And what are your favorite singles from your favorite indie brand? Uh, well, my favorite singles are from Sydney Grace. And what color story bundle? I wouldn't mind a bronzy type of a look because I keep looking at the one by Natasha Denona and I'm trying to stop myself from buying it. But I wouldn't mind if Sydney Grace does a bronze palette. Oh, and that one was the last question. <laughs> <laughs> These are some great questions and I hope that I answered them and I hope I didn't skip one but a lot of these were repeats. I hope you stuck it to the end and again I know this is going to be a long video but might as well go big or go home, right? So since this is my three year anniversary and I hit 2,000 subscribers and I know I'm a small channel but that is a lot for me. I mean 2,000 of you subscribe to me and I feel like I've come to know a lot of you guys and this is really fun. This is really fun. Nerve-wracking but really fun. So in honor of my three-year anniversary here on YouTube and my 2,000 subscriber mark there will be a giveaway and since I've been here for three years there will be three winners. The camera got hot and turned off so I don't know where it stopped and I hope I'm not repeating myself but since I've been here for three years there will be three winners. There's gonna be three different prizes. Now the first one will get this by Tom Ford the lip and eye iconic set the one that was in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. The eyeshadow palette burnished amber with two lipsticks and then the second prize will get this iconic palette from Charlotte Tilbury with a Pat McGrath lipstick duo set. So the second one will get this one. And then the third one will get this eyeshadow palette by MAC. This is the Dream Team Eye Kit. And the lipsticks that you'll get with this is the one by L'Oreal. My Parisian Dressing. Oh, here it is right there. That's what it says. So you'll get these five lipsticks. The MAC and the L'Oreal. And I'll throw in some samples here and there with each prize. To enter into this giveaway, of course you need to be a subscriber and like this video and leave a comment down below and what I'd like for you to write is if you want to try to win for the Tom Ford eyeshadow and lip product leave a comment Tom Ford if you want to try to win for the eyeshadow palette by Charlotte Tilbury leave Charlotte Tilbury comment down below or MAC for the MAC palette now you can enter for all three but I need one comment for each entry like if you want to try to win for the Tom, uh, Tom Ford write Tom Ford and then in another comment write Charlotte Tilbury. But you can only win one of them if your name comes up twice. And make sure you want to try to win for the one that you like because if you don't like the Mac and you apply for Mac and you win Mac there are no substitutions. I hope that makes sense. So like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of the eyeshadow palette that you'd love to win. Either Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury, or Mac. So one for each entry and I hope that makes sense. I'll go ahead and list everything down below again so you can check out the rules and regulations. Of course it will start when this video goes live and it will run through, let's make it through September 12th. So this giveaway will go through September 12th and I'll announce the winner on September 13th. I should say I'll announce the winners on September 13th. Well, all right, I hope you enjoyed this video of me answering your questions and this giveaway. And I, again, I cannot thank you enough for being here and being a subscriber to my channel. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. This is a great community to be in. I have more friends here than I do in the town that I live. Because believe it or not, I am a shy person. I am a truly shy person. I'm the one that will hide in the corner in a party, but I'll also be the one, if I see someone in the corner, I would go to them. Of course, I'll pick the corner where the food and wine is at. But anywho, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and also leave a comment to be entered into the giveaway. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.